Hi YouTube, this is also X for ZZXVids.com on YouTube at 00X and on Instagram at Quantic Films. On today's video, we'll show you part two of the how to build the Sentry 3 computer for the Dream Computer 3.0 computer setup series of videos. On today's video, we'll install or we'll finish installing all the parts on the Sentry 3 computer and we'll show you part or most of the Dream Computer 3.0 computer setup. Here are the parts we got from Micro Center, Best Buy, and NewEgg.com. And then we're gonna proceed to install uh, the motherboard, which has been fitted already with the CPU, the AMD Ryzen 5 2600X, as well as the crucial P1 NVMe SSD, one terabyte of that, and the memory, the G Skill Flare X dual channel. 3200 cache latency 16. We left you at this part. We're gonna take out these brackets uh, from the CPU or around the CPU socket because we're gonna install the cooler that it's provided by AMD that it is in the same box as the 2600X CPU. Let's take these screws out. And then we'll fit this motherboard onto the case, the rose wheel prism as light in white, color white. It's more like black and white. And the whole build without the RGB lighting looks black and white. But once we turn it on, we'll see the RGB lights, the RGB fans and their LED lights on. Let's take these two plastics out because we're gonna use a cooler that's beefier than usual, that that's the AMD cooler that's bigger, it has uh, more cooling space, the heat dissipators expand to the sides and they won't be able to fit otherwise. Here's the case, we got installed the RGB LED fans by Deep Cool and GamerStorm up there for the exhaust, air exhaust, the side of the case and as well as in the back for the I.O. components. We also have a deep cool up there next to the, or together with the power supply that it's cooling things and making their flow. So let's find out which way the I.O. shield comes out, which way it goes, and let's always check the back plate of the processor that has have a sticker or a cover. Now, this one comes with IO shield included, which means you don't have to add or put your own in there. You just use the IO shield that comes in the motherboard and it will show through the case. So we just need to find the placers. The, there you go. Maybe move a few places depending on your motherboard to see where the screws will go to keep the motherboard in place on or rather elevated at, at a point where it doesn't touch this case, but the placeholders, the screws within a screw that you have to add in there. Now the fan has to be relocated, we have to take it out and then put it back in and find a place where the micro USB cable will be able to fit and connect to the GamerStorm, the MF120 fan in the back for the exhaust. After you do that and put the uh, rubber grommets that will keep it nice, snug and silent because it won't it won't vibrate, it won't create extra noise for the build. Let's uh, attach this motherboard. Let's find all the screws in places. In the place they have to be. This also is grounding the motherboard to the chassis. And uh, although I'm not using an anti-static uh, band this time, well, I have my crucifix, I have my um, cross bracelet, but you can touch the chassis from time to time or touch the floor to discharge any static uh, electricity you have in your body. And this is the back plate. Be sure that it doesn't have a sticker or uh, something that 
to keep them in place or you can you can use duct tape to keep it in place until you put the screws and stuff like that in the back of the cpu this will help us um, install the cooling solution provided by amd with this process which is pretty good it's pretty pretty good air cool solution we have the Ryzen processor installed already, 2600X, that was on the previous video, part one, as well as uh, other installations, as well as opening the case and uh, putting the fans in there. Now let's check the cooling solution. It has a protective plastic on top that will take us to the plate that goes directly to the cooling surface that will go directly onto the, uh, on top of the processor with the cooling solution, with the thermal paste, pre-applied, of course, in this case, and it has one cable that's the CPU fan connection that goes up there to the motherboard, to the, to the PC fan header on top of the processor. Now there's two ways to install this um, cooler, this air cool fan and heat spreader. It has to be either this way, like this, because it, it is in a rectangular fashion how the screws are located, or the other side with the AMD letters heading the other way. There's only two ways to install this, really. We're going to install it this way because it gives us plenty of space to connect the um, CPU fan header cable. The CPU fan connection is pretty safe. It won't be stretched or dangerous. Now, the best way to install this cooling solution specifically is to press on them because it has some springs on them. You're gonna press on them with the screwdriver and then hold or have someone hold the plate on the other side for you. So we can keep them straight. Once you install the CPU connection or once you install the CPU uh, fan a CPU fan connector, we need to find the semi-modular cables on the motherboard and find that 12 volt connection to install such a cable and we put it through these um, rubber doors on the fan so they're out of the way, they're, they're, the cable management is snug and nice in there goes on the side of the motherboard that's one power connection we have another power connection on top of the cpu that uh, to the left upper right uh, left left upper corner where the other smaller power cable connector and connection goes like i said before this case is pretty good for cable management and for air cool the uh, components see this is the other connection that comes with the power supply being semi-modular and they're pretty out of the way once you connect them you can tag you know tag them in the back let's connect this one really quick Let's proceed to the headers, cables, the USB 3.0 headers, the video, I mean rather the audio in and the audio out, the headphone jack to go to the motherboard as well as the reset and on keys that will go into the headers on the motherboard. These cables from the case, from those features, feature in the case on top of the prisms will go into the motherboard header located on the lower right corner of the motherboard opposed to the IO shell and that USB 3.0 header has two USB 3.0 connections up top as a feature in the case so we'll split the header into two additional USB 3.0 um, type A connections so let's run them through the case or through the case with these um, rubber doors again and we'll go on the lower part that will be easier and to connect and it'll be out of the way it won't clutter or build it's, it's all about cable management with these cables okay so that's the usb 3.0 header 
connection and they will run the activity, the LED lights, the reset button and on button as well as the audio headers into that right corner again this colorful corner this is kind of difficult in some on some with some motherboards so depending if it bring you adapters or not you can like one by one i gotta check on the menu that are exactly the way they're supposed to go you'll notice if you've made a bad connection they have a specific order and way to be connected to locate it and maybe bend the cables a little bit so then they don't get in the way of other components or other parts like fans and video cards etc etc and there you go we connected all the header cables all the chassis case headers as well as the USB connection now in the back we have these hubs for the fans then we're gonna have to stick to the chassis itself and we're gonna stick one of them to the side of the SSD um, hole. This is the PCIe cable coming out of the power supply. We run into one of the rubber doors through the chassis and we have to connect it on the other side to the video card. Now, let's take care of these um, hubs, these uh, cable management hubs for the deep cool RGB LED fans. We're gonna connect one here in the SSD uh, shroud. It's gonna keep that nice there. And the other one we connected to this hub is gonna connect to other four fans on the other side. We need to stick that one as well on the chassis. And we have one more uh, one of these hubs, but that's the uh, Gamer Storm hub. The power connection. That's the Wi-Fi intelligent. Fans. I'll connect the other one right here so it's closer to the other LED fans which otherwise uh, won't reach all the way to the first hub or the motherboard for that matter. But all these hubs help us is extend the cables and then eventually connect to the motherboard header. As you can see right here, cable management is uh, getting underway. And we also need to connect this cable which is the SATA power cable from the power supply to the MF120s, the intelligent uh, Wi-Fi uh, fans. Now let's take out these placeholders to install the PCIe components, which are the Wi-Fi uh, AC56 uh, adapter, the PCI card. We have the Aorus AIC, the NVMe SSD, that's a PCIe or PCEI component, the fastest SSD you're ever gonna get, as well as the video card itself, the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Let's get all these placeholders out of the way. And we need to take out two of these for the video card because it uh, occupies two PCI slots. It only connects to one PCIe though. All right. Now let's get the Aorus SSD first. The PCIe SSD AIC form factor, 512 gigabytes. Let's unbox it real quick. That's how it looks like out of the box. But uh, we we will see it in a from the side where the RGB lighting, the RGB LED lights come out and there it is the Arus RGB AIC NVMe SSD 512 gigabyte one of the fastest reads and write speeds the, is one of the premium four factors for memory right now but the m.2 it's also very useful and it's not an optional part you can get an m.2 ssd and run your video and audio production as fast as you can but this is good to load the operating system and core programs or, product or productivity programs or 
the video games you like to, to use out of this SSD and run the projects, the files that you produce from another hard drive, SSD or M.2 SSD drive. So the read and write doesn't get uh, you minimize the velocity of your speed, your write, and write speeds. So it's an optimal setup for speed in media, audio, I mean, video editing and video production, right? Or game production, that way you manage your files better. And the faster the better. So we connected the NVMe AIC drive or SSD memory. The PCI slot, it's the second from the top. On the top slot, we're gonna install the Wi-Fi card with antennae or with antennas. Let's find the screw for this and keep it in place. Let's put it on. We'll show you, towards the end of the video, we'll show you how the finish build looks like, like the computer build, as well as show you part of the computer setup itself, where this computer, Sentry 3, is being, is being used. And this is the fast networking solution, fast, easy, stable. Because with a three-year warranty, I can complain, this is the um, AC56, Asus AC56, uh, faster solutions for Wi-Fi since I'm not using a LAN cable this is also an optional part which means you can use your LAN network do in my house we have so many devices connected to the LAN network that I'm forced to use Wi-Fi and I want the fastest Wi-Fi possible and this is a great great peripheral that helps me do such a thing as we do that I'm in a part of the house where there's not a LAN cable I connect wirelessly to the network I'm gonna keep that network speed high. That's why I use this um, PCIe card. Connects to a PCI slot. It's holding place, nice and snug. And then we're gonna put a screw in there to keep it in, to be, to keep it well on top and up there with the Aorus SSD. We connect the video card on the other two PCI slots available under the SSD drive where you can cool down in peace. Let's put that screw and keep, hold it in place. We have to connect the antennas, uh, the antennae in the I.O. part of things and put the two antennas on top of the case itself once we install it and we're ready to use. Use it on find a good spot for reception. We're almost there, guys. Now it's time to get the video care out. The daily dedicated graphic accelerator card provided by NVIDIA. This is the GeForce RTX 2060 Super, the latest batch of GPUs by NVIDIA, inspired by gamers, built by NVIDIA, that's their slogan. And this video card has the latest features provided by, or latest features by the NVIDIA standard, which are ray tracing and a 4K support in games, as well as video. Um, it has a nice back plate, it has that, uh, reflective mirror-like finish on the front when you can look at yourself with my pretty face and then we're gonna connect it here on the one of the l mid almost the it's almost the last PCIe slot there's like one more under it uses two of the slots but it has the full PCIe connection that's why I'm using this uh, spot for the graphics card the dedicated graphics card and it's out of the way of the NVMe drive, the SSD, the M.2 drive that uh, remember it had the heat dissipation, the heatsink with it. 
and it's gonna get straight air from the intake fans down there and it has two fans of its own and it's gonna throw the air through the sides and then they'll go and since it's hot air it will go up anyway and the exhaust fan will catch that the gamer storm will catch that and get it out of the case as well as the other gamer storms uh, on the side of the case looking at the right side of the prism s rosewood case this, ex this uh, intake fans will kick that air up and then they will be pushed out of the case. Okay, let's get this right. Let's press on it until the and this clicks. Now, in this case, this is a heavy car, so it will move. See, it, it, it bends a little bit. That's why we need to put two screws on the side for that PCI port going towards the input output of the car where the video connections go. There, we need to put those two screws. And in this case, has an accessory that will help you keep it in place as well. It will help you to give it an extra support. Extra support. Once it's screwed into the chassis, it will have a little hand of metal with a rubber um, cover to hold the car while you install it. And you can leave it there. It will help you with um, gravity, basically, because this is a heavy car. But it's pretty. It's, it's pretty uh, pretty powerful. So it has a lot of components. Luckily, only accepts or receives one PC, one PCIe power connection. It only needs one of them, which help us keep the wattage at uh, 650. We could even have a power supply of 550. This computer will just fine. We have plenty of headspace. But uh, the time to put the screws and hold the card in place. It will help us with the weight and we'll keep it in place as well as have nice alignment of the I.O. which are the video inputs and outputs on this card. We have uh, HDMI, DVI and um, display ports. It's plenty for multi-monitor setups. In this case we're, only, we're using only one monitor. It's a 27 uh, inch, was well, practically a 28 inch BenQ 4K monitor gaming monitor that gives us very good color accuracy for video editing and it's great for the other um, programs like um, Cubase and uh, video game production in the case because of the color accuracy and the bright brightness the HDR is also helpful in that case but that's the only monitor we're gonna use here most likely we're using an HDMI out gives us an extra audio um, Speak, it has audio speakers, the, the monitor comes speakers, it helps us for reference, but we also have the, the studio monitors as well as headphones for this purpose. But it's good to have an audio output. And it's a 4K cable, so why not? We can also use display ports, it's pretty cool for this. I'm gonna try both. But most likely we're going with the HDMI because that's what the monitor comes with. And here is the PCIe power connector coming straight out of the um, power supply this is one of the modular cables and it goes on the right side back of the card and it only needs one of these which is good which keeps the power uh, consumption low I remember the last time I built a computer I needed like three of these PCIe um, cables uh, cards used to take two of them and I'm talking about AMD cards the Radeons they have dual GPUs they have two GPUs in them now it's, it's great what a video card can achieve now I'm thinking we're gonna use the lower door for this video card. So one more down, so it's less cable exposed on the front of the um, case. It will be better for cable uh, management. Let's take a look at it. It's almost complete. All the components are installed practically. You see the video card, the Aorus SSD, AIC, and you see the Wi-Fi card all connected, all of PCIe. Um, parts are connected we need to get this fan into cable management mode and then put back the tempered glass let's do that shall we now we have this uh, box here with accessories for the case for the rose wheel prism s case and it comes with velcro straps as well as um, plastic um, 
zip ties, and we're gonna use these things for the cable manager. We're gonna organize the cables out of the fans uh, way and out of all the crucial parts. We're gonna speed up the process that way of uh, cable, uh, airfoil and finishing this this master piece of a computer that is the century three that goes into the dream computer 3.0 setup. It has to not just look good but be efficient and have this get us out of the way it helps us with that. It's pretty elegant, pretty clean and makes you feel better about yourself sometimes. Knowing that your cables are nicely tucked in the back and that helps you run all these parts that you can actually see. Now let's connect this uh, last power cable for the gamer storm. Uh, controller and then we go ahead and organize the cables it's a little tedious so we're gonna speed up the process don't worry about that And there it goes, we can use that uh, Velcro sub to hold most of the power cables going down into the different components from the power supply up there in that shroud and get them out of the fans way so we can circulate some air in there and speed up the process of the rest, we'll hold them together and keep them out of the way and it's ready, we just need to put the tempered glass back we put the cover in the back, by the way, the, the metal cover, and now we're putting the glass cover, the tempered glass cover that says caution, careful with the it's safety glass. So let's be very careful here. Our parallel cable of the way, let's get this straight here, and then we have some screws here that are loose. We need to put those tight. And we have some stickers to show some of the parts that the manufacturer sent to us. Like the AMD Ryzen 5 3D sticker, the Aorus sticker and the G-Skill memory sticker. Let's take out this caution warning here. And let's get those stickers I was mentioning before to, offered by the manufacturers. An elegant way to put this case like this Ross wheel case sticker and there they are G skill for the win I'm also getting one of these G skill uh, mechanical keyboards they're 50 50 bucks I kid you not 50 bucks mechanical red MX um, keyboard it's slim similar to what I have right now but it's lighted everywhere I'll install Windows uh, 10 and run this computer for the setup, the new computer 3.0 setup. Now all we need to do, all, all that is left for this video for part 2 is to connect the power cable to run the uh, power supply, the switch the power supply to the on position and then we light it up, we'll uh, turn it on, we press the on key for the first time. We're seeing the I.O. for the NVIDIA video card. 
the Wi-Fi PCIe card antenna and the I.O. shield. It incorporated the I.O. shield with the I.O. for the motherboard, for the Aorus 450 Elite, B450 Elite, AMD processor. You can see the components all through the glass, except for the power supply that's up there. Now let's turn it on, shall we? Let's see how this thing lights up. Three, two, one, and it works. It turns on. The motherboard is going through the diagnostics. Diagnostics seem fine, everything. No error codes, no error lights. Look at that Aorus car. That, that car is amazing. The RGB is beautiful now. GeForce RTX just lights green. Those LED fans, those RGB fans, they intake, they can change colors once we get into Windows. And we see the Gamer Storm, I'm cycling between colors. So it's like a rainbow pattern, kind of, but they go color after color. Let's turn off the lights and let's watch this beautiful RGB light show. Okay, uh, once we install the drivers, once we install the operating system, we'll uh, check how it looks on the setup. I might make a, one more video showing the computer setup and the computer how it works in there and maybe some I can do some uh, benchmarks, graphic be benchmarks, synthetic benchmarks to um, give you an idea of how well the video card and CPU and this system perform so you can better educate yourself about the parts you want to use for your build. Memory speeds, all of that good stuff I can be there to help you define um, what performance you're getting out of this build. This specific build is under $1,000 as far as the main CPU, the main computer goes with a few accessories, with a few, not accessories rather, but optional parts that are very important to the performance of this computer. And it will help us in general in the setup. That's the on switch, or the on key rather, the on switch and the power supply, the on key. Turns on with a ring of light. The fans, they're all running, they're all good. Let's check up there. There's, we'll have one more fan that's out of the way, but it projects some light into the case. In this side of the case, this is the RGB lighting of the AIC, as well as the Gamer Storm with their beautiful logo. That logo right there lights up, but you can see it so much because the rest of the fan lights up as well. Because the, the Gamer Storm logo lights up in the middle, like a beautiful light coming from the RGB up there. You see, that's the RGB fan for the, shroud, the power supply shroud. Again, here the RGB. That was the final result, the, the product, the final build that it's incorporated into the Dream Computer 3.0 setup shown here. Don't forget to check our PC Park Picker uh, list of finished builds at pcpartpicker.com. Uh, we'll have the links in the description below. That's the BayQ monitor uh, or a Steel Series Actis 3 uh, 7.1 surround sound headphones, the Nessie USB Nessie microphone, um, as well as the Dead Other Chroma by Razer Overwatch Edition. It's pretty good for um, FPS um, or music production tools. My digital piano, my synths, uh, the antennas, the Asus Wi Fi card antennas on top, the Prism S case. Their mother's design there in the front, and also we show you on the sides and the back of it to see all the companies working on an actual setup. On an actual, the keyboard I'm changing again, the MK370, I believe, is the, the mechanical keyboard by G-Skill. Um, different assorted USB drives, my phone, and the PlayStation 4. My USB PlayStation 4 controller that I use for video games for mostly. Uh, driving simulators or racing simulators that's a Linux um, Linux uh, synthesizer that my uh, mom built for me it's pretty cool uh, let's take a closer look at the Roswell sticker on the case the antenna the back of the power supply I have Starcraft 2 over there my uh, music tools my mini cajon and my uh, bongo or bongo cajon uh, wood acoustic percussion instruments for the album I'm recording which the song you listen to right now it's part of that album it's Escape don't forget to check those music uh, videos I have on the music section 
on the description below as well. Check the music video playlist. Don't forget to check the Dream Computer 3.0 uh, playlist or the Dream Computer section on the YouTube channel. And we have the wallpaper transformers. I love that. Love transformers. We have the deep cool lights in there as well. It lights up pretty well. I don't think I need more light inside this case. It's beautiful. So don't forget to check our other videos or other um, computer videos, gaming videos. I have a section to figure to gaming videos. We have our uh, tutorials and how to just like this one, how to build, how to pair, how to configure, how to use different components, as well as uh, our music videos, original content made by our, our uh, ourselves uh, for our music. Don't forget to check also our favorite and like videos on the YouTube channel. Uh, this was also X for 0 x on Instagram at Quantic Films, on the web at zzxvids.com. Thank you for watching, and as always, peace.